Just a quick preface, I have the transmission oil cooler lines looped, and that's what that small hose is. Yours are going to be running back to your transmission. You can disconnect them, and uh, you can just plug everything so that nothing leaks. But for starters, you're going to take off these two bolts. These are 12 millimeter. The only tools you need for this job are a 10 and 12 millimeter socket and a ratchet, but I would recommend having some extensions as well. You'll probably also want a long pliers to get the wires off. And once you get those off, you can take off these two 12 millimeter nuts. Probably remove the sway bar here, make this a little easier on yourself, but not totally necessary. There's a third 12 millimeter nut on top of the oil cooler that also needs to come off. But before you do that, you're gonna need to remove a 10 millimeter nut that is holding down a wire. And you can see me unscrewing it here, but I'll put in a better picture of where it is for you. All right, so that is the hole for the last 12 millimeter nut that you need to remove. Pretty much impossible to get a shot of that on camera before removal. You can see the stud there. And that is why you need to take out that 10 millimeter nut and shimmy the wire out of the way first. And that last nut is directly on top of the oil cooler. So if you feel around up there, you'll find it and get it off. And once you get the oil cooler off, you can remove this last 12 millimeter nut that is holding on the bracket. There is a wire attached to the back side of this bracket, and you're going to want to remove that before you shimmy that bracket out of there. Like I said before, you could take out the sway bar, make things a little easier. I just really didn't feel like it. All right, so with all that junk out of the way, now you can finally see that oil pump control solenoid in there. This is held on with a single 10 millimeter head bolt. And once you get it out of there, you're gonna have to wiggle that solenoid back and forth a little bit. Make sure you unplug it. There you go. Pops right out of there. And looking at it here, you can see the hole for that bolt. And there is our delete plate. Before you put that in there, make sure you oil up those O-rings a little bit. You can insert this with a slight twisting motion. Just make sure you're not jamming it in there crooked. You don't want to crush those O-rings at all. And you can use the same 10 millimeter bolt. Put it right back in there. Make sure you snug it up. There you go. That's how it looks installed. At this point, you just reassemble everything in the reverse order of how you took it apart, and then you're done.